Okay, let's do this. The Daily Purge. Hope you're doing fantastic. Not sure what happened there. Sorry about that for you, though. For those of you who tuned in live and didn't see it, we'll start over today. Well, you know, it's Tuesday, heading into hump day. Hope you're living your best life, stepping into your greatness, because that's what it's all about, right? Every single day, we can look at every single second and say, today's my day to change everything, to get more quality of life, right? That's what it's all about in the end. That's what everybody wants. So I want to talk to you today real quick about something that's really, really um, mm, mm, uh, a high point right now, let's say, especially in this whole election thing in America. And people look at discussions. How do you look at discussions? Are discussions two people with solid, unchanging opinions? Hey, Melissa, unchanging opinions that argue with each other? Is that, is, that what a, is that what a discussion is? I don't know. I don't think it is, you know? I think people say, why can't we have a normal discussion? I have my opinion, you have yours. Can't we just talk it out? Well, sometimes... It's really hard to have that when other people will not form, uh, will not add to their opinion. So, hey, Yashika, how you doing? All right, good to see you. So, morning, morning, morning. Evening to you. Yes, indeed. So, it's, it's like this. People say, I have an opinion and I'm going to stick to that. But when you're in a discussion, we're in a discussion to what? To learn, to endeavor to find another way to deliver that message so that other people can understand. Because if you have an opinion, you too, Melissa, thank you so much. If you have an opinion and you want other people to listen to it or you think it's important, then jamming it down the throat is not going to help. Doesn't matter what side you're on, right? So it, I find it I find it funny when people say I can't have, I can't have a conversation with you because you you won't listen. You have your opinion. Well, obviously you do too, or you would have a discussion as well. You would understand. Well, okay, I understand what you're saying. From well, what about this and what about that? And you'll see it. It happens to me too. People have a conversation on uh, you know on on social media or whatever, and they simply will not allow any new information to flow into their opinion so that they're solid on that. Well, what's the point of having a discussion then? I mean, what is a discussion? What is it? It's there so you could learn, expand your view, grow your world, see more things, see things differently, or you just want to argue and you're frustrated. I don't know. You know, it, it's, it puzzles me to see people saying they want to have a discussion, but they're completely and 100% not open to any new kind of information. They've made their mind up months ago and that's where they keep it. So. This, this is how, this is how, I mean, when, when you're in sales, you can't be like that, obviously. Or when you're in like, I'm an M&A. If I went in with a solid opinion and I wouldn't change it, I'd never get any deals done. Why? Because it's only my perceived reality, what I think my, my opinion is. It's not reality. We all know what's on social media, what you hear out of someone's mouth for the first time. First impressions are not always the truth or the reality or the whole picture, right? So shouldn't we be endeavoring to see the whole picture, to find out more, to dig deeper, to figure out if we're actually just standing there on a, on a pedestal saying I'm right because I want to be right? You know, every day, I mean, everyone this, in, in these days in this world has an opinion and everyone thinks they have the right to say it, and they do. But allow others to critique it, ask questions, wonder why, and, you know, and back it up with something for real. Back up it with real truth. You know, if you're really out there and you want to change the world, you got to start with you. You can't change the world without changing you. There's no way, shape, or form that you can do that. It all begins with you. All change begins within. All change. Impact begins with you and your world. You want to save the planet? Start recycling. If you're not recycling, don't talk to me about saving the planet. Right? You want to save water? Well, turn it off between showering up and soaping off. Or soaping up and showering off, right? Then don't talk to me about saving water, right? Hey, Reggie, how you doing? All right, Bobby. Reggie, great to see you. Awesome to see you there. It just cracks me up. It cracks me up. The people that are out there crusading for a better world and their world is not better because they're not changing anything in their world. You need to put a stake in the ground where you are right now and make that change so that you reflect to the outside world the things that you want to change. You don't have to say a word then. They see you doing it and say, wow. I needed, uh, okay, Melissa says, I needed this today. I want to have a discussion with my husband, but you've made me realize it's just what I tell him what I want to have. Wow, Melissa, you know what? That's pretty amazing. That's pretty amazing that you would come to that conclusion. That's, see, I love it. I, that's why I love you guys. That's why I love talking into this video camera every day. Freezing my ass off out here, by the way. Hey, Anya, how you doing? So when it comes to the point where you're in a discussion and you find yourself defending your position, you're not in a discussion anymore. You're in an argument, <laughs> right? So get out of the argument phase and say, why is that other person thinking like that? What position are they in? What happened to them that they think that? Why are they holding so hard to an opinion they formed months and months and maybe years ago and will not change it? Why? Because it's protecting their worldview, isn't it? They call it cognitive dissonance. If I believe, if, if I start listening and believe in things that, that will ruin what, how I think about the world, sometimes I just want to protect my mind and myself and stay what some would call ignorant bliss. 
right? If I don't know what's bad out there, if I don't know what the truth is, then my opinion will keep me safe, right? Well, hey, Chris, how you doing, brother? And who wants to stay safe, right? Right? It's about variety in life. It's about change. It's about, it's about stretching that threshold. It's about pushing the envelope. That's how you grow and learn. If you're scared to learn, if you're scared to hear the truth, guess what? That's because you're about ready to change and be better than you were a minute ago. So if you're out there and you have people that are pushing you hard to change your thought or arguing with you, stop arguing. Thank you, Ania. Stop arguing. Listen what they say. Hear what they mean. And then you know, compute that in your mind to how that can fit into your worldview and if it changes anything. And if it does, say, you know what? You just made me realize something. That's amazing. And then, boom, you just broke that wall down of argument. And guess what? You will make forward progress. You will learn. You will grow. And that is what it's all about. If you stop growing up here, your frontal lobe, if you start learning and creating new habits up on your frontal lobe, you will eventually get to the point where you're doing the same thing every day. Nothing's changing. And guess what? That causes dementia, they say. Hey, Frederica, how you doing? So seriously, if you stop learning... You know, the frontal lobe is responsible for new habits and learning, learning new habits. So you want to you wanna stay young? You want to stay young at mind? Create those new habits. Reading is important too. Reading is like exercise for the body, right? Read, listen, hear, be open to other people's opinions and allow them to unload what they think on you and listen intently what they actually mean. I'm not telling you to do this. I'm saying you could do this to have a better life. I hardly ever argue, hardly, hardly ever argue unless someone comes to me from the side, right? Then yes, I will argue. But to the point where I just wanna get out there that I'm not arguing with you, I don't like arguing with you, I don't like negativity, leave me alone, stop, done. That's pretty much how I take care of that, right? Because there is no room in my life for negativity, I don't care what it is, period, period. Why would I waste any energy on anything negative? Not me, brothers and sisters, not me. (laughs) Okay, hope you're having a fantastic one. That was my Tuesday Daily Purge. Remember, it's all about quality life. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.